YC stands for Ye It Produce by so back in the game with a video and today is a unboxing video of the second Doctor and TARDIS from the War Games as I will show you down there. So on the box here it's the limited edition. Now I will point this out, this was a birthday present. I was actually going to get I was actually originally was going to buy this, but every B and M shop was absolutely sold out because people bought by them. They're buying more than two of these. I can understand there's two, say, one to keep in the box and one to display. Other than that, they buy like 35 boxes of them for the sake of reselling them at daft prices, which is kind of stupid. But I'm lucky enough to have one of these, and because I had birthday money, I could have easily got one of these myself. But now I have one of these, I'm not going to bother. So, yeah. So it's exclusive, uh, Doctor and Tardis set. Uh, from the War Games, the collector's biggest set, and of course it does fit the 5.5 inch scale collector series. We've got the BBC Doctor Who logo at the top, uh, five years and plus. Uh, just that. You have an outline of a uh, TARDIS out there, and you've got capture options logo down there as well. On the side, it gives off a, gives off a promo image of the second Doctor and TARDIS. With opening doors, like it always states, again, stating it where it's from, there you go. And then if you want to pause and read, then feel free. I will uh, pan that down. There you go. Um, again, gives off, an, uh, gives off another promo image of the product. And of course, on the side, gives off another view of the TARDIS. Um, on the bottom, instructions and legal stuff, and on the top, stating what it is and it's Doctor Who. Uh, so yeah, let's get it out of the box and... Okay, so this is the back of the box, the insert. This is from the War Games, I think it says. Yes, it is. Um, I'm not too fond of watching the classic episodes, but at one point I am willing to watch them again. Especially the new one, Fury of the Deep, which is the animated version, which I will come to get in at some point. I know it's Blu-ray, but luckily my PlayStation plays Blu-ray, but yeah. So it's a nice little insert. I always keep these boxes because they do go for a nice bit of money. And they're good for, like, background shots for when you're doing action figure adventures. So here is the second Doctor and TARDIS. Um, we're going to move to the second Doctor first, and then the TARDIS last. So, I'm just going to pan that down. So we have the second Doctor, a.k.a. Patrick Troughton. Um, it's a lot different from the um, two Doctors set. Um, I know I have a review of that, but I've I think I've still got that on my phone. I need to upload them. It's like the third Doctor and TARDIS set. I haven't even done the video of that. Um, it's it, it got too complicated in the fact of I have no space, so you'll see lack of uh, videos. But I will do an overview of them at some point. But right now, I'm just going to focus on the newer sets. So we have the second Doctor. Um, you can tell that's Patrick Troughton. You've got dark little lips there. And you've got the frowning, and you can tell that his hair is more of a, a dark with a bit of hints of grey for when he was aging. His jacket is more of a mucky type, um, scuffed up look to give it that um, aged effect um, to, towards his end of time as a doctor. He's got his bow tie, um, which is dotted, and his end is off kilter. Um, as you can tell, the the shirt has buttons, there yeah, you can see, if I just pan it down, there you go, buttons on there, you've got your red handkerchief down there, which he always carries like that, uh, you've just got your deep baggy pocket, uh, pockets, which looks like he carry, carries quite a lot of stuff with him, and uh, pretty tatty clothing for the second Doctor, but it was expected, as Patrick Troughton's Doctor was more of a comical Doctor. The trousers, you'll notice there's like some sort of misbleed there. That is normal. Um, that's meant to represent the rip on his trousers during the episode. I don't know what it's from. I need to watch it. Uh, but yeah. It's representing his clothes getting ripped and stuff. And it's got a nice checkered design, which goes through nicely. Especially up to the joints. Apart from here, because it misaligns his here. But, you know, you can't be expected everything from his character and on the shoes it's just legal information so yeah so on the bottom at the back you'll notice there's like a dark wash here 
that's meant to represent when his trousers were like like in mud and everything like from walking and running and you know I don't know the episode I'm just guessing what it's about but yeah so moving to the articulation the head can do a side to side it could do a 360 but I wouldn't recommend it as you'll rub the paint off the shoulders can do a full 360 and the biceps can do 360 bend at the elbow and um, one of his hands can do side to side whilst the other can do a full 360 um, just to let you that know he's got 360 waist articulation um, he can kick forwards and back um, at the thigh 360 and bend at the knee so it's pretty normal articulation for the the doctors and this will go nicely on the other second doctor I have on the display shelf it's got quite a lot of doctors now I'm just missing the first and sixth and thirteenth doctor and pretty much got everything else I need one with a celery I need a fifth doctor with a celery on it but that isn't from um, the end of the story so moving on to the new object aka the TARDIS Boom! I was gonna move that up. So you'll notice a bit darker than usual. Um, it's meant to. Now, in the naked eye, it's a pale dark blue, which rec which looks like a gothic TARDIS. But on camera, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm panning down, and you can somewhat tell. Um, it's kind of dark. Um, it's to do with the repaint of the props, but it's a classic TARDIS. It's to be expected with these things. Um, so yeah. Now, as you can tell, the base is based off the third Doctor and fourth Doctor TARDISes. Um, just a slight retooling on the lamp, which is a new uh, sculpt for the TARDIS. Now, man's got a bit of a misplay uh, paint there, but it's only on the top, so you won't really see it. Now, if you look closely, you don't really see this in reviews, but that you can see where the LED will go. And it's pretty funny. Um, to be honest. If it would it would be cool if they actually put an LED in it. It didn't have to be wired up, but just an LED just to give it a look like it actually has a mould in it. Because you can see right through it. Like there you go, it's clear. So the text on the police public call box signage across the TARDIS is very in colours. So you got the three dark black um, white on black text, and then of course on the front you've got black on white. So that's to rem that's very reminiscent of the fourth Doctor TARDIS, um, the the regeneration Doctor, anyways. And the pull to open sign is a darker text, a bit like the thirteenth Doctor TARDIS, but this time um, doesn't have a handle, on it, but it is based around the frame. Um, doesn't open. In fact, I can show you. It's glued in place, so you won't be able to open that. So it's fixed in. Meaning that the doors will open fully outwards, like. But it's a painstaking thing. It took me about five minutes just to get the tape off, whereas the plastic usually takes me about three minutes to take off. Um, because the the tape is like it opens like from here, then here, then you open the doors, you pull the tape out. There's still a bit of tape behind this door, and I can't get it. I can't access it. So I really recommend character go back to the tape. And another reason is because. This is a common fault with the TARDISes, as you can tell, that the doors are a lot more jutted out at towards the bottom. Um, it's nothing to do with the plastic. I mean, the plastic is the same material as still all the other TARDISes. Like even when I open the doors inwards, you can somewhat notice it, just a tiny bit. Now at the back and side, you do notice the battery housing and stuff like that. Um, but again, it's non-electronic. It's nothing new. I mean, there is room to put electronics in it because, you know, aka Box Axon 07 does it. But yeah, it's a neat little feature. Now, for me, if I was head of character, I would have just retooled one of the side pieces and stuff it on the back. Meaning it will get rid of the battery ho housing and the speaker through, allowing for it to be a big, bigger space that can fit about two figures in it. I mean, you could get two in a push. But, yeah. I mean, it's nice. I like it. I love it. Um, the only slight issue I have is the doors, but that's a common fault with the um, second Doctor and Tardis set. Now, if you guys are after getting one yourselves, 
I was I got mine offline. Well, my parents bought me this offline. I don't know where to look for these, but my parents are very good at resourcing for stuff like this. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, if you can get your hands on it, which sh should you pick it up for a price of 20, 20 quid? I recommend do so, even though this wasn't actually 20 quid, it was more than 20 quid. Because that's how much my parents paid more than 20 for it, apparently. And not only that, um, people being bulk buying them, you know, selling them like just for higher prices. Um, if you can get one for a lower price, then good luck to you. Um, I know I've had people contact me about it. It's it's one of these look of the draws really. Um, just when they first be announced, just get them quick. I know when I first wanted to get the TARDIS, I was thinking of getting the TARDIS. I wanted to get the money, but I didn't have the money. But I don't have to have the money, even though I have it now. But I'm glad I've got this, and it'll go with the third Doctor and TARDIS that I've got, because I've got something chrono chronological order. If that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, um, overall brilliant um, sets. Would recommend picking this up. Um, great price for twenty quid, especially for those um, the classic collectors out there as well. Again. If you're going to buy them, don't buy more than two boxes. I mean, I understand if you've got one for, you know, to, play, to display and one to keep in the box, if you know what I mean. Um, it's also good for if you're doing animations with them. I mean, it's really clever how characters are coming out of these. I know it's not exact to what the on-screen version was, but this is character wrong about. It's character options for you. So, we've got 10th Doctor and the Sonic Screwdrivers, and we've got the TARDIS sets. Um, I like the TARDIS sets because um, especially like after all the older releases weren't even popular enough to get worldwide um, a bit like the B&M really it gives people a second chance to buy these things and it's brilliant that capture options are re reusing these models and making them into a set um, the next set I'd like to see for character to make is the first Doctor and TARDIS set that would be brilliant. I would like them to do the tall roof version. Um, I know you can get it in a one, uh, one sixth scale um, set um, kit. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below that you have subscribed and liked. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, stay safe. Alonzo, Alonzo.